Now, if you are going to transfer films yourself, you will need a projector with a speed control and preferably quartz halogen lighting. As this machine is dual gauge, we can use a single projector for both formats. It is essential you clean the gate of your machine to avoid scratching your film. Some of the older projectors were extremely well made but they do generate a lot of heat. It can also be expensive and difficult to get replacement lamps. Using a telecine box like this will help you work in low light conditions rather than complete darkness. You will need to go into your camera menu and select the manual settings. First switch to indoor lighting then manual focus and exposure. Set the projector to be in as straight a line as possible with the screen of the telecine box. Now make sure the camera is also in a straight line and aim towards the centre of the telecine box lens. If possible, try to diffuse the light with some opaque glass as this will help alleviate hot spots, that is uneven illumination. Now project some package movie and turn the speed control until the flicker disappears. As you zoom in, be sure to check for overall illumination and sharp focus in all areas of the picture. If they are wrong, adjust your camera. So the images you are looking at were transferred using a 3-chip Panasonic GS120 camera set for indoor lighting and switched to the manual position for focus. The Elmo projector was fitted with a 50 watt halogen lamp that was diffused. It is very important when using this type of unit that you diffuse the lamp of the projector and switch off the auto exposure on the camera. Otherwise, this is the quality of transfer you can expect.